Yeah, yeah, Bixby, I'd much rather use your button for something else, so, uh, sod off. So the first question you might be asking is, what is Bixby? And that is a new personal assistant that is provided by Samsung on their Galaxy S8, specifically using this physical button that's been added to their device. And it works even when you have your device locked and it gives you different cars and options. And this looks very familiar, doesn't it? That's because if you long press the home button on your Galaxy S8, have a guess what you're gonna find. That's right. Google Now. So why do we need them both? The answer is, for many, probably not. The question you might be asking then is can we repurpose this button to be used as we want? And the answer is yes. You can download a free application from the Google Play Store and it's called All-in-One Gestures. So a quick tap on the install and we'll find out how to set up that button to use it exactly how you want to. So when you first download the application and open it, there will be a couple of permissions that you do need to allow from the application and you'll simply have to bite the bullet and accept all these by going through each of them and tapping allow and enabling wherever you need to. Once that's done, if you tap on hard keys and then tap on the enable button, again this is going to chuck you to the settings to enable accessibility. You just scroll down to the bottom, all in one gestures, enable that there. OK, and then go back a couple of screens. You might have to use the multitasking window and possibly enable it again. But hopefully that should get you back to this screen. And now this is where you can use the Bixby button by tapping on the three dots in the top right hand corner, choosing custom keys. Now it wants you to add the custom key. You do that by tapping the Bixby button. That will launch Bixby. Don't worry, just press the back button. Then click add. Now it's there at the bottom, highlight it, and then you should get options to choose whatever you want in able to repurpose a button. So we could do an action, we can do a shortcut, or we can do an application. And for this a very simple demonstration, I'm gonna choose the status bar, then choose notification panel, so that's set now. If I go back to the home screen, then tap on the Bixby button, it's no longer Bixby, it's giving me notifications. So have a look at what you want to do with that button, repurpose it and get rid of Bixby. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about the Galaxy S8, then stay tuned to this channel because there's gonna be loads of coverage over the next couple of days and weeks. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.